what is this? What the hell is that? Oh god. No, no! Oh! No! Ow! Dude. Okay, wait, there should be a manuscript here. Um... Do I... Go this way? There we go. Oh man, that was crazy. Okay. Wake and a dark presence in the lodge. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Okay, the next one is a coffee thermos. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror oh. story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Why wouldn't I want a heavy duty flashlight? Like, bro. Seriously. Okay, let's see. Wait. Uh, move forward and you'll see it on your right in the pallet after you drop down. Okay. So, right there. Oh, there it is. Alright. Next one is a TV show. And this one is upstairs in the house. I'm gonna search the area for some supplies because I definitely need them right now. I feel like something's crazy is about to happen. Man, give me more batteries, bro. Like, come on. Oh, no. Did you call your Oh god! Oh god! Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, bro! Oh, no, no! Oh, I'm dead. Oh god. Did you call me? Oof! Nice! Oh god, I didn't kill him. No. No. Oh god. Ah, yo, you suck, bro. Oh no. Stay back. Oh my god. I gotta run. Okay, checkpoint, nice. Oh boy. What was that? Oh! Whoa, 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 stay away. Oh! Crazy man, I'm running out of batteries so bad. I need more. Give me like 20 batteries, bro. In light, you can hurt them. Yeah, no kidding, bro, but I need more light. Okay. This 
six batteries, okay. I mean, I guess. It's a TV show right here. We take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Night Springs. Tonight's episode, a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Did I really? Of course, Mr. Durlis. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <laughs> the... What the hell? Oh, Mr. Dushman, you have well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host his thousand young, and I shall be glory. Oh, God. Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. Jeez, man. I learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. Such quests always bear fruit. Night springs. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the next collectible is going to be a manuscript page, literally right here somewhere. There we go. All right. Wake, attacked by the dark presence. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. All right. Let's see. Ah. Ah. God, really? There's also people? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh. Ow, dude! Insane, man. I just fought a bulldozer and survived and killed it. Holy crap. It almost killed me, but uh, I managed to do it. Ah, stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Can't get up there. Alright, there's one more over there. All right, last one. Okay, can't pick that up. All right, so now there's a button here. Nice, 10 batteries, this is what I like to see. Okay, cool. Then there should be a coffee thermos here. Um, and then it should be right here somewhere. Nice. Awesome. 
Ah, checkpoint. Okay, and so that's it for this part. Next part is going to be in the next area, so let's go. Ah, I got a vehicle. On the road again. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Ah, sunrise. The coal mine wasn't far now. Heck yeah, Today, the light. I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. All right. Get a little bit of a break. Let's see, so the next one is going to be a coffee thermos, and let's see. When you get uh, to the broken bridge, I can go back. How far back can I go? Yeah, I think I can go in the truck actually. Wonder how far I can go before there's like a hidden invisible wall. I don't know why he got out, like little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying oh. to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Even during daytime, I was being stalked. The bridge must have collapsed only moments after I'd crossed it. I, I was gonna say, like, how did he get over here? <laughs> if this bridge is freaking down. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, so it says, let's see, when you get to some stack logs before a broken bridge, you pass under. Get out of the truck and head to your right. Okay. So let's keep going and find out. Alright, wait. So here, I think, somewhere? Oh, there it is. Yo, bro. Guess, yeah, this is what I meant. Uh-huh. Wow. This is nice. The infamous red chair. Sit down, bro. Take a load off, why don't you? Okay. So that was coffee thermos number 41. Next one is a radio show. Um, the hell? Okay, there's one right here. On these stairs, up these stairs. It's the radio show. Inside of a shack. Right there. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, 
I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order <laughs> now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say... I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Alright. Just gonna go back down. I wanna go the right way. Go the way that is intended. Sure, I'll come back up that way with the truck, but when taking the sights while well, I still can. Don't get too many days in this game. Daytime moments, and uh, would like to actually enjoy them. Yep, literally came up to the same freaking shack right here, but whatever. Alright. Next one is gonna be another radio show. A little bit further up ahead. Ranger Station. A Ranger Tower, whatever you want to call it. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. <laughs> to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or... Heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but... I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know. But, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone. Not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past. But I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaking a few things loose. That's some heavy-hitting stuff right there. All right. So the next one's going to be a manuscript. And it's just going to be a little bit further down. <clears throat> now, apparently there's an achievement here in this part of the episode where you have to get to the coal mine um, from the coal mine to Cauldron Lake in 30 minutes real time, which I don't think I'll be able to do on this playthrough because of the fact that I'm collecting collectibles, but uh, 
Yeah, that's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna save that for chapter replay, so. Um, just figured I'd mention it here, I'm probably gonna mention it again once I get to that part. It's actually not that far from this point, so. Let's see, you'll see red barn type buildings to your left, go all the way up to the old wooden stairs, and you'll find it at the top. Okay. It's in this building right here. I also kind of, you know, want to take in the sights and stuff, so... Don't really want to... Speed run through this on my first playthrough. Are these stairs, man? Why are they so hard to get up? Alright, let's see. Mott on the ferry. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but hmm. it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Who the hell's Mott? 